it is um, Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday morning, um, day three. So uh, yesterday was just sort of like a beach day and we ate a lot of food. Um, in fact, I think Robert ate too much food. He is not feeling well today, which stinks because today we are heading out to the catamaran and snorkeling adventure. So I just got ready, he's getting ready now, and then um, we are gonna head down to breakfast. They have like a really nice buffet. I'll see if I can get some clips of it. Um, and then we have to meet everybody at 12.30 at the lobby and head over, and it's like an all day thing. We probably won't be back here till like eight. Um, I think it starts at two, two to seven or something like that, and then we gotta catch the bus back. So, yeah, so that is on the agenda for today, and it should be a super, super fun time. I cannot wait. Um, I'm just worried I'm going to be cold, and I don't really have like a bag. Um, I meant to pack like a beach bag because, um, there's it, it's getting you know it's not cold in the evening but if you're wet it's a little windy sometimes and then I get chilly and I do have a sweater I can take I just don't have anywhere to put anything like I've got my little purse and that's like loaded down with like sunscreen and stuff and I have a brush in there um, they have towels there for us and yeah I think I'm gonna have to take a jacket or something or a sweater so anyway it should be great. I'll, I'll get some video for sure of the catamaran and the water and all of that. Probably won't be able to get any kind of video of us snorkeling. I do not have a underwater camera or anything like that. But if other people do and I and they share photos, and maybe I can put them in the vlog. I don't. I just don't know if that's something people have. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I will see you guys all a little bit later. Probably down at breakfast. I don't know what these foods are. Little fruits, but we are. I think the star fruit. We're gonna try them and I think somebody said this was a Mexican orange so that's probably what the orange juice is babe and then these are empanadas bon appetit he's like get away from me he's trying to he's like I'm just trying to cross the road dude we're not gonna get you it's all right he's scared Aw, he's huge. it's like 9 a.m. p.m. We spent the entire day on the water um, snorkeling, swimming in the ocean, and drinking and partying on the catamaran boat. It was so fun. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. So we just ordered room service in. I think Robert's getting like a, a steak. I'm not super hungry. I have cheesecake and mac and cheese coming. And um, yeah, so apparently the room service here is great. We haven't used it, so to, now's the first time. They still be here in about an hour. He, I just got in the shower because usually my hair was like all curly from being in the salt water and the wind. Um, and he's taking a bath because his back hurts. So um, he was so funny. He had the water too hot, and he like sat down and standing right back up. He's like, damn. <laughs> so anyway, um, but we had a great time. I did get a little bit red, you can see. <laughs> so I just put some after sun. Um, aloe and peppermint stuff on my body and it's very cooling it feels fabulous so 
we're going to eat and then watch a movie and go to sleep. <sighs> Today was the best day. Today was such a good day. Um, it was beautiful. You guys probably, I think I, I took some video. Um, and the waters were, the waters weren't coming across on camera. Like we took some photos of it too. And the, the water was like aqua, almost like a neon aqua, but it wouldn't translate on the camera. I like would take a picture and I was like, I can't get the color to show up the way the color was showing up in person. So anyway, but just take my word for it. It was absolutely stunning. We had such a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, everybody got a bit tipsy. Um, it was funny. We just had so much fun. So anyway, um, buenos noches for this evening and I will see you guys in the morning. Oh my God, we just ordered our first room service in. Look at this cheesecake deliciousness. It's like a strawberry thing. Mac and cheese. Is it, oh, that's like the nachos. So we have to add the cheese and the beans. And that's your steak. And you got a milk, a milkshake up there, right? I need to get a drink, but look at, oh my gosh, everything looks really good. And that's all the toppings for the nachos. Yep. So they don't put that stuff on it. You do it. That's yep. awesome. <laughs> so we're going to be eating late and then going to bed. Breakfast arrived. Oh Is it good? Good. We are involved alligator, sir. Is that, well, is there a crocodile? Crocodiles, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. But, um, it's real small. Small size. And usually we watch them at night time. Oh, okay. Are more like nocturnal animals to yeah. see. Uh, but if I see one, I will let you know. Okay. Sure. Yeah. It's pretty. Is this part of the uh No, this is oh, part okay. of the panel tree. Right, okay. But you can make reservation. Okay. Do you have an inclusive package? We yep. do. Yeah, well it doesn't cover this, right, but right. if you want to try something different, yeah. Why not? Thai food. Yeah. See, it's really good too. Look at that. Terry. That's the main building actually. Oh wow. Let me turn this way because my So did you come for vacation? Uh, job, work? Company. Company, um it's like I think how many is it? Thirty people? Yeah, maybe it might be closer to 50. So um, it's a President's Club trip that we won. Um, we, so I'm a recruiter, and we have to do so many sales. Um, and then if we hit a certain sales number, then you, you win the trip. Ah, uh, like our reward. Yes. Oh, God, what a nice reward. I'm yes, sure. it's very nice. Yeah. Especially when it's all inclusive. See, and everything oh, she's is got paid the bird. by them. <laughs> yeah. Except I think we've spent... Uh, quite a bit of money in your little shop. Everything's so expensive, and we hats and stuff. Yeah, we realize we forget everything. <laughs> See, yeah, well, in that case, you should, well, for next time, go yeah. off, go off site. Yeah. See, Playa del Carmen is ten minutes drive from here. Is the main town? Actually, there is a walk. There are three Walmart's. Is it safe to like get a taxi here and go? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just. I don't know the area, so. It's safe. Are you from the states? Yes. Well. With all due respect, it's safer than the states here. Well, I believe yeah. it now. We don't have shootings, we don't have racism. We're yeah. having issues. We don't have opioid, opioid things. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's very safe. Right now, our country is not safe at all. Everywhere it is. You buy them first, and then the construction right. starts. That's pretty so. That's smart. See? Yeah. yeah, because you don't know nowadays. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell if at the end of the day you're going to be paid. <laughs> That's right. Talking, I mean, we are talking about maybe from four to six million of US dollars. So yeah. 
quite a lot of money. Yes, it is. Money to invest. I'll tell you what, it's nice. Pretty. And here, amigos, we can see two different properties. Still being rolled to the right. Yep. And at your backside, sir, this is the Andas. Oh, Andas yeah. Yep. By Hyatt. It's oh, by Hyatt. Hyatt. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this is the, the newest uh, property here in Mayacoba, opened just six years ago. Okay. It's nice. It's more like for young people, like more like trendy style. Right. So, how long did it take you to learn um, Spanish or to learn English? Or did um, well, uh, I used to live in, in, in Houston. Houston. Houston, okay. Yes. And also used to live in, in Germany, in Frankfurt. And my German is really bad, so I have to be switching to English. Just right. Easier, all of <laughs> so you got three languages. Yeah. yeah. I also speak a little bit of French, but I don't like it. Right. I had a French guy on the phone the other day, and... Uh, he could do some damage to your hand for sure. See, if they start to roll over, yeah. you will lose it. At least one finger or two. Yeah. And that's the problem with these guys. They get you and they start to roll over. Yeah. So. I heard somebody said you have to embrace it. Yeah. So you could roll over with this thing. Well, that's, what the, that's what the crocodile hunter did. You know, he, See? Steve Irwin, he's dead now, but he jump on their back. I guess, yeah, what do you do? Like, just like punch him in the eye or you, something? Well, like, poke his if eye you can out? stop him from spinning, you won't lose too much, but he still got you. Yeah, his teeth they are probably strong, like a... Strong bite force. See, the thing with these guys are very persistent. They yeah. don't let you go. Oh, they no. keep going. If you, even if you punch them, they will keep going. Yeah. It's not like sharks or other animals. When you punch them, they just take off. Oh, exactly. Yeah. They just keep going. Yeah. No <laughs> they want to eat. Yeah. They want to eat. See. See. They don't care. That's funny. So what does this guy eat? Do they eat fish. fish? No, only fish. fish. At that size, fish. Yeah. But big crocodiles, everything. everything. So that's the reason why the biologists relocate, relocate them once they are big enough to be here. Like I said, you're sitting in the water still, fish gets by. See? Yeah. It's neat looking. I don't think at that size they like human meat. Too many bones. Would he try oh, to yeah. attack that ducky thing no, up there? No, too many feathers. Okay. Just the big ones. That's not yummy to him, no, huh? No, 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 no. I like how he's like holding his wings out. Yeah, he's taking some heat. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> he's drying off their wings to fly again. Yeah. They're like, get away, I have babies. Yeah, you got babies right there, don't you? Yeah, hatching. <laughs> and then there's this little black weird one up here. The black one is the male, and the ones with the brown neck are the female ones. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, she's feeding babies now, isn't she? Or she's... I don't know, she doesn't like uh, us she here. She leaves down there. She's yeah. making her nest. Yeah. yeah, it's building it. And then there's two more back there. You see those ones back there? Yeah. There, are they all the same type of bird? See, just behind, I'm not sure if you can see it back there, there is a white one. The white one is a different kind. Right? Back here? Yeah, that's an egret. The white one is an oh. egret, but the rest is the same kind. So you yeah. gotta stand up, honey. He's I a little him. guy up I there. Yep. How neat. And then there's a pretty black one with a big thing on his head. Yep. He's doing like a, like a fluffy head. I know, babies, are we annoying you? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, there is so much seaweed. These guys over here are um, scooping the seaweed up off the beach, and then this tractor goes over it and picks it all up. I don't know what they're doing with it, where they're taking it, but anyway. So much seaweed.
taking a late night walk on the beach. You can hear the music. I don't know what this music is. I wonder if I'd get a copyright on this. how dark it is on the video. The bike you can't see. Is it on top of this one? All the way up here. Oh, I thought it was a different one. I didn't know that. So apparently there's a rooftop bar up, 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 up there. Well, we can look. I don't want to, don't think I want to stay. <laughs> How do you get up there? There's a pool at night. I think back here. That's pretty too, the lights on the pool. This is where it's happening, maybe? Yep. Hi, hi. Hi, how are you? Good. We just wanted to kind of see around what this was up here. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, right now we have some spots in the bush. If you want to, like, go and take a seat, you don't have to leave. I don't know if we're going to stay or not. <laughs> All right, that's fine. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Look at this. This is so nice. Come sit with us. Oh, I love the fire. No one else wants to sit with us. I'll sit with you. Okay, thank you. We just oh, don't I want to be it. seen sitting with you. Fine. Oh. <laughs> Out, you know. There's some water right behind you. When I saw you when I was over here, all I saw was the water, and I was like, Where, how did they get there? I, I couldn't so see. Cool. Yeah, it's really neat. Very neat. Here's Mark. Alright guys, last day on the resort. Uh, we are heading, this is the bathing suit for today, you'll see it later, but we are heading to the beach. Uh, well, I think we're actually going to the pools today. We've been on the beach two days, so I think we're going to the pool today, order some food there, and then we're going to come back and we're going to go shopping at this little Mexican village. And probably be in early tonight because we've got, um, we've got to pack up tonight, so we can be, we got to be meeting out front at 8.30 tomorrow morning. So, anyhow. Current situation. This is all our group. Who's left? Some people left the night, the day before. Robert, Alan, his wife, Trip, Chrissy, I forgot her name, Bruce, and Zach, Caitlin, and Cody. And my dogs, I'm going to tell you what, my dogs are good. I mean, I ran. I, they, they put some of their dogs. So I guess all told, we probably have 40. Probably 40 dogs. Damn, don't bring my glasses. And uh, they were putting their dogs in, putting their dogs in. And finally, Ronnie said, Get out and put his damn dogs in there. Get that deer out of there. <laughs> Good evening. It is our last night here. It's like 8 o'clock. Um, we were at the pool by the beach all day <laughs> drinking mango, uh, mango daiquiris. So good. 
we got some fish tacos and uh, which was just kind of like a little, like little appetizer. I'm very burned. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but I got so, so burned. Like, like so painful, my whole body hurts. So we actually came back and promptly took a nap um, because we were wore out, we were out there for hours. And I put SPF 50 on and st still got totally burned. My arms, everything just hurts like, so uncomfortable. I guess it just wasn't strong enough for the sun down here. So I'm in the bathroom. Um, Robert and I just had dinner. I just got a cheeseburger and fries. So I wanted like good old food because I've had a lot of like weird dishes this week and I just wanted something like that was familiar to me. And then I just got this. This is like a raspberry sorbet. So yummy. So we're eating that. But after we took a nap, we took a bath. So we used this big old tub here and took a bath. And, um, and then we ordered dinner and now we're having dessert and then we're going to pack up because we have to be back at the lobby for pickup. We have transportation arranged. We have to be there by 830 in the morning or they leave without you. They give you like 15 minutes and if you're not there, they leave with whoever they have. Also didn't really buy anything here. Everything was really expensive and, and, um, like really expensive. Like Robert bought a cheap pair of flip flops and like 60 bucks. <laughs> So there was this little little Mexican girl on the beach and she had made these. And so I bought one of these. This little thing was like five dollars, a little thing. And she was the most soft spoken little girl. And I said, How much? And she's like, five dollars. I said, Did you make them? And she goes, Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so so sweet. She was just the most precious thing. There was a lot of kids here, actually, a lot of little babies. And we saw some while we were here, we saw gators, we saw um, what's it called? I know who's it? probably because it's burned, second day burned. Um, and we saw those iguanas, they were kind of all over. They, some people saw these like monkeys that were not the kind of monkeys that we, they're called spider monkeys. We didn't see those. He said that they don't like to be near the water because the gators will eat them. Um, but we didn't see any, I think they tried to probably hide. They probably come out at night. But there's something else, he called them dirt monkeys or trash monkeys or something. They're like a lemur, they've got a tail, they're kind of like part monkey, part raccoon, big long tail, and they're striped, like reddish, like a red and beige color, and um, they were all over the golf course. I didn't get to see those though, um, we, we looked, we just didn't find any, um, and no, <laughs> so my friends, they were like in the morning they were like jamming out in their room dancing having a good time eating drinking whatever and they had their doors open on their balcony and um she was like in the bathroom and she came out and two of those lemur things were in their bedroom they walked out and she was like what is going on there were two of them and so they're actually called cody's and the funny part is it was his girlfriend's caitlin and then my friend cody and I was like, well, they just knew it was like a Cody residence because Cody lived there and two Cody's just knew that and came right in. And so Cody kind of shoot them out. They both, they were scared. Um, but I thought it was funny that they just came right into their room. I would have loved that. Closest thing we got to uh, is Robert almost getting hit in the back of the head with a bat. <laughs> so, mm, I'm going to pack all this up with this. Bunch of mess. So we have to pack all of that out. You know what's so funny? The little lady here, she organizes all my makeup every night. She lays it in order. And <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but they do, um, they're probably going to come in here. They do a turndown service every night here. And um, they, uh, they, they flip all your pillows up and they refill everything. And then they, um, they turn the lights down low. They leave you little notes and little like these little cards about the birds, all the different birds that you see here. And um, they fill your ice bucket up with ice and they give you fresh water. All the water on the island is bottled water. Um, and they have these like cardboard boxes, like boxed water that you can get. And then um, they're not allowed to smoke here. Um, people are vaping, but um, I don't know if it's just in Mexico. I think it's a Mexican law that they passed recently. You can't smoke. And then they also have these like bamboo straws. They're real eco-friendly here. Um, but the bamboo straws, I drink so, so, so slow. So by the time I'm like, all of a sudden they'll just go and they just sort of fall apart and I have to get a new straw every single time because I don't, 
I've never drank like drinks quick enough. Like if I have a drink, it takes me all day to drink it. Even like a coffee, same thing. I'll go and I'll drink, I'll, I'll get one coffee and like when I leave work at four, I still have sometimes like this much of it left. So maybe I need to buy a smaller one. I don't know. Sometimes I finish it though. Anyway, so we gotta get out early in the morning and I'm hoping we have a more pleasant ride home than we did coming here because um, aside from getting sunburned really awful and like my whole body hurts, it's been such a wonderful trip. And we, um, so today we just laid by the pool and we like hung out with our friends. Um, we just had such a good time. So um, well needed. We, we both, it's been three or four years since we've been on a vacation and we really, really needed it. It kind of motivated me to go back to work and like kick butt and win it again. Uh, we will be going to Costa Rica. If I win it, we'll go to Costa Rica in February next year, which will be really cool. I think it's called, it's that we were looking at two all-inclusive resorts. One was Dreams and one was Secrets. I don't remember the first part of it, but we were, go, we're gonna go to the Secrets one, which was a five-star diamond resort. So I'm hoping we can win that one. Um, I got a good start. I already got one placement under my belt in January. And then I just, before I left on Friday, two more closed. And then while I was here, um, we, I have a client reach out that possibly wants another one. And I have another client reach out that is moving my one of my candidates forward. So uh, if both of those close, I'll have a total of five, uh, five placements under my belt in like a month and a half. And that's a super good deal. So I'm wearing the little Fairmont robe. They give you robes and slippers to wear during your stay here. And um, yeah, everything's wonderful. So. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm sure you'll see a little bit more footage if we have traveled, like the end of the trip, you know, kind of getting home. But um, I'm glad you guys kind of watched this and uh, was able to take you along for some of the fun. I just did it while I could. I wasn't able to like fully film a lot, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage I was able to share. And I'll see you all soon. Have a wonderful day. Hey friends, we are home. We got home late last night, not a little late. Like we actually had no travel issues yesterday. Um, so I figured I'd come to you and uh, just close the vlog out and also show you the jewelry that I have on. Um, this jewelry is from, well, this is Anna Luisa, this little heart, but I came home and my Perkling sparkle box was here. I'll hold this up so you can see. Look at these earrings, the little Valentine earrings in gold. Oh, I love them. I love them. So if you're looking for something fun for Valentine's Day, grab this month's Sparkle Box, uh, $39, and you'll get the earrings I'm wearing as well as the double necklace, which I'm gonna take you guys in a different spot to see in front of the window in just a second. Um, but these earrings are fabulous, fabulous. Um, I can totally see these for a date night out. Of course, I'm just wearing a fuzzy blue sweater and jeans today because I wanna be comfortable. Uh, but we, yeah, we had no problems coming home. Our last night, we did have a raccoon issue. The raccoon, um, the lady went and took, I think she forgot, she took our food plat, plat, uh, plates and stuff that we, there was still food on it that we didn't finish and put it outside. And I think she maybe just forgot to come back and get them. And all of a sudden we heard noise and there was raccoons. Now Robert did get it on his phone. I was already in bed and I already had my, um, I was already asleep, really. I had my contacts out. So I had to actually watch the video back myself because I couldn't, I couldn't see what was going on. And um, it's so funny, there were two of them and uh, they stuck their hand right in. I had some like sherbet, some ice cream sherbet. I'll put a photo of, a, of it up here. And um, I didn't finish all of it. And the, the raccoon was sticking his hands in there and just eating it. And then there was like a little cup of chocolate sauce from Robert's ice cream. And he tasted that and he took the whole cup and ran away with it. <laughs> He actually fell asleep or um, dropped it, and then the next morning when we woke up, he went down there. He got it. It uh, the raccoon took it with him. He, Robert was saying they're little thieves. I guess that's why they have a little band that masks on their face. He said um, he thinks that if we found where they sleep, there's probably all kinds of silverware and stuff from the resort that they've stolen, little cups, all that stuff. So it was so nice. But what's not nice is being back here and not being able to have just food delivered to my home all prepared and ready. I could, girl could get used to that. Robert said the same thing. He's like, no, we have to cook. I'm like, yeah. So we're getting ready to go pick up our puppies. Robert's getting in the shower. We had such a good time. I don't ever drink all, too much on those trips, or if I do, I don't do it around people because I don't want to act a fool. Um, I drank a little bit. I got a little buzz one night, but that was about it. I didn't, and nothing, 
nothing crazy. So I may just leave my hair up. Okay, let me take you in the other room and show you this necklace. This is beautiful. So it's a double strand necklace. It comes together. It's not a piece. Um, a lot of our double strands, you can separate the pieces and wear one or the other. I didn't look at this closely, but I think this is all connected as one in the back. So I don't think you can do that with this necklace, but it's gorgeous and it's perfect. Um, to wear with these earrings too. So it's got like really beautiful like pave crystals. I just kept the little heart necklace on. This is the Ana Luisa and I love this necklace so much because it just sort of sits at your collarbone and it's just really beautiful. And I think the combo of these is pretty. So let me take this light off and bring you guys in here. Our house is a mess that I don't know. I We didn't have time to clean before we left. It's, oh Lord, okay. Well, maybe right here. Okay, so. Let me bring you guys in. There we go. Ignore my sunburned skin. It's pretty damaged right now. It's like, it's looking a little rough. <laughs> it's really, really red. So, but look, you can see how beautiful, beautiful that is. And then another look at these stunning earrings, which I love. They remind me kind of like 80s, like 80s stuff, don't they? This beautiful highlighter on me, by the way, is the new Rare Beauty highlighter so pretty this one has like a pink pink hue i think i showed it in one of the videos um all right well we're getting ready to go pick up our puppies i'm gonna end the vlog if i can get robert to send me the video of the raccoons that'll be at the end otherwise i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching guys what's going on boys We almost fell. Damn. That's it. He reached his hand in your sherbet and get ice cream. Don't break that, don't break that, don't break that. Come here, look at him. Look at him, Terry. I can't see. He's eating your sherbet. He's sticking his hand and eating all your sherbet. Did you see that? Yeah. He's sticking his hand in the chocolate sauce now. <laughs> it ain't bad for them. They eat anything. Oh, he picked up the whole jar. He took the whole jar with him. He dropped it downstairs. Now the other one's eating your sherbet. I think it's some in there. They want it. I can't even see. Right there. Oh, what a shithead. Careful, they need me. I'll attack you. What are you doing? Big size. Robert, Robert. I need you to come through here. We can pick potatoes up. Anything else, food? I'll have to watch the video because I don't have my contacts in. No, you're not. You need to come in. Two of them. Look. Look. Two of them. Oh. Over there. Little fuckers.
little bastard. 